says just before we recite the Lord's Prayer in the Divine Liturgy, we ask that He send upon us the grace of the Holy Spirit and the gifts that come from Him. In St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, he speaks about this. He says, Grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. According to the measure of Christ's gift. You see, each of us receives this grace and these gifts. Is that the time of baptism that we pray that the Holy Spirit come upon the person who is to be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. And in receiving the Holy Spirit, we receive these gifts, this great grace. But we do not receive it equally. Because in a sense we are all a little different. Christ knows each of us. Even before we were conceived. And from our mother's womb. And so this gift that he grants each of us through his grace is measured. It is measured according to what he understands to be our abilities. We all receive different gifts. The grace that he grants us through his love is great, but the gifts may be different. And we hear St. Paul speak about different aspects of the gifts. Some are called to be apostles and some prophets, some teachers. All of us given this gift of grace according to the measure that Christ decides. Because he is our creator and therefore knows each of our abilities. In the story that is given to us about St. Gregory of Nyssa, we know that he is the brother of St. Joseph the Great. St. Basil is encouraged by their sister, their older sister, Macrina, for the service of God. It comes to us that we may understand that St. Gregory may not fully understand this calling. But his mother, Emily, wishes to go to the service honoring the 40 holy martyrs. St. Gregory, as we are told, comes at his mother's bidding. Wearied from the journey and feeling a little zeal, he falls asleep during the service. It is during this sleep that he is visited in a dream by the 40 holy martyrs, reproaching him for his slothfulness. After this, he repents and became very diligent in the service of God. There is a connection between God's grace and the gifts that he grants each of us and slothfulness, laziness. We may not find ourselves to be particularly drawn to a certain kind of service to God. We may decide that maybe we can serve him in a different way. He manages to meet that out in different ways for each of us. Yet at the same time, we need to be careful that our unwillingness perhaps to move forward in a certain area to serve God is not linked to laziness or slothfulness. It is not linked to perhaps our thinking that we are not worthy of this or we are not called to do this or perhaps someone else is better to do this than we. In 
the story of St. Gregory, we learn that even though he did not want to go, he went because his mother had asked him to participate and to attend. Weary from the journey, he fell asleep. How often we may become weary of our journey in life, especially in these months. We are very weary. We are very tired. Because it seems that there seems to be no end to this repetitive, repetitive inability to overcome the challenge before us. Prayer can do a great deal to help us overcome any challenge. But we must not forget that God's grace and His gifts are the greatest power and the greatest energy and the greatest of all love. So when we contemplate our calling, that St. Paul reminds us that we are all called, that God's grace is given to all of us and each of us receives gifts measured out according to Christ's understanding of who we are individually. That we must see this as a call. St. Gregory writes great and wonderful and theological works. He is a great preacher. He becomes a patriarch. He shares his gifts with all who come into his life. He serves God, finally understanding his call by God himself and the gifts granted him. And we are the recipients of that great gift, that great intellect, that great faith, that great commitment. St. Gregory is going to be the father of fathers. The father of the fathers of the church. It is by no accident. And in that dream that he comes, confronted by the 40 holy martyrs, he understands that it is through his repentance and his diligence that he will fulfill God's gift. Is great and his love abides and abides.